Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot and I am here to do a reading, an uh, after dark reading. This after dark reading is for Divine Feminine versus the Karmic. So keep in mind that the Karmic could be a male or a female and the Karmic may or may not be your Karmic. So also keep in mind that um, this reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So this reading can manifest after dark hours tonight. It can manifest later on down the line of time. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading pertaining to your past situation or circumstance. So, I didn't get any messages during a pre-shuffle, so I'm going to show you guys what's at the bottom of the deck. Let me just shuffle this deck real quick because I forgot I'm using this deck too. Let me shuffle this. After dark reading, the bottom of the deck. All right, so we have apology at the bottom of the scoop deck. Someone wants forgiveness, apology. At the bottom of the T deck, we have moving on, thank you, next. At the bottom of the issues deck, we have no treats. Hardly takes you out on dates, little effort in, in entertaining you. So collective, you could be moving on from someone who um you could have moved on in the past or you're moving on. From someone who didn't um heart, didn't give you no treats. And this person probably wants to forgive this collective. So you moved on from this person in the past. And or you might move on from this person after our hours tonight. Collective, you may or may not accept somebody's apology. So something like that could be going on. Then we have marriage. We got... What's this? We got the Eight of Pentacles, so collect, collective you or somebody else could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So we got the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody probably have to work after dark hours tonight. Somebody probably work third shift. Or someone is trying to prove themselves as worthy to you or somebody else collective after dark hours tonight. Somebody wants forgiveness, so somebody could be trying to prove themselves as worthy. Then we have Deep Knowing. So we have that at the bottom of the deck. So let me jump in. Collective, um, not collective. This is divine feminine versus the karmic. So I'm talking to divine feminine. So I'ma pull divine feminine. I'm gonna pull you an angel number and I'm gonna pull the karmic angel number. Give me divine feminine's angel number. What's divine feminine's angel number for after dark hours tonight? All right. All right, so we have number seven. I am brilliant. So divine feminine, your angels have you in this energy. You are br brilliant after dark hours tonight. <clears throat> so divine feminine, I just heard, be assured that whatever type of decision you make after dark hours tonight, um, some type of decision making, um, it was a smart decision. So it say you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes give you a greater awareness than most. So, Divine Feminine, you are brilliant, and it could be because of your intuition, a deep knowing. Your intuition. So. So, be assured, Divine Feminine, that whatever decision you made after our hours tonight, um, you are brilliant, and it was a wise decision. Whether it's concerning work, love, or life. Alright, so what's the karmic's angel number for after dark hours tonight? What is the karmic's angel number? Alright, we have number 28. So after dark hours tonight, the karmic is being a leader. Number 28 is say, in an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive, and drive a team towards achievement. So some type of leadership going on with the karmic after our hours tonight. So I'm gonna do a mini love reading. So um divine feminine, I'm gonna pull 
two cards for you. I'm going to put two cards for your lover. Your lover could be your divine masculine. Don't necessarily have to be. But whoever you have in mind, a lover. And I'm, I'm going to do the same for the karmic. So I'm going to pull two cards for the karmic. What the karmic want to say to their lover. And um, two cards for the karmic lover. So let's see what's going on in love and romance. What do um divine feminine's lover want to say to divine feminine at the dark hours tonight? Leaving you hurt me too. So divine feminine, your lover want to tell you that leaving you hurt them too. So divine feminine, your lover left you. Whether literally or um emotionally, your lover left. I love myself enough to walk away. So divine feminine, your lover is saying that they love themselves enough to walk away. All right. So divine feminine, this lover that you have in mind, your lover could be a karmic, don't have to be. Or this could be your divine masculine. And maybe your divine masculine is not awakened. And he know the best thing to do is to walk away because he's not ready. He's not awakened. Um, divine feminine, your divine masculine could also be married or he's in another relationship. So he could have walked away from you um, because he's, he could be married or he in another relationship. So he did the right thing, divine feminine, your lover. Um, this person did the right thing. Um, even if it, whether it hurt it, or whether it hurt you or not, divine feminine, your lover did the right thing. Yeah, they walked away. It was a form of self-love. <coughs> divine feminine, I also just heard too, your lover left you in a third party. So your lover, your lover is single. So it's like your lover didn't make a choice. They didn't choose you and your lover didn't choose the third party. Your lover is saying, I love myself enough to walk away. Or divine feminine, your lover is telling you that they left the third party. So it's like divine feminine, your lover left you to leave the third party. So basically clean up a mess, divine feminine. That could also be a scenario as well. All right. So what do divine feminine want to say to their lover at the dark hours tonight? What do divine feminine want to say? I know we have a soul connection. So, in, in this deck, it said a deep knowing. So, Divine Feminine, this could definitely be your Divine Masculine. He could be going through a dark night of the soul. Um, divine Feminine, I'm picking up that your lover either didn't make a choice. He could have left you in the third party. Or your lover left you, Divine Feminine, to leave the karmic. So, he had to go clean up a mess, Divine Feminine, and come back to you correct. He's in the process of doing that now. So he could be telling you, I love myself enough to walk away from the third party or to walk away from the karmic. And Divine Feminine, you want to say to your lover that you know that you guys have a soul connection. This could be your Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine, if this lover is a karmic, you could be saying to this lover literally or energetically that you guys are soulmates, but he's not your um, forever soulmate. He's not your twin. He's not your twin flame. So, yes, you guys do have a connection, but he's not the one for you. He's not a forever. Yeah, so you probably want to say that too if this lover is a karmic. <clears throat> All right. Divine Feminine, if this lover of yours is a karmic, this lover left you, Divine Feminine. He getting the hell, up, the hell out of Dodge. Um, Divine Feminine, this karmic couldn't handle your intuition. You having a deep knowing. So it was best for this karmic Divine Feminine to leave you alone. And this karmic is very aware of that. All right. What else do Divine Feminine want to say to her lover? I've, I've been here before with others. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, you telling your lover literally or energetically that you've been here before with others. You've been down this road. You already know how this go. You already know what to expect next. Divine Feminine, you could be the high priestess. You know all things. You don't talk much, but you know all things. Because Divine Feminine, you've been here before with others. Whatever the situation is. So Divine, Fem Divine Feminine, you could have had, um, you could have been in several relationships with um, several karmics. So you know, a car you, know, you already know what the deal is, Divine Feminine. This lover could be a karmic. 
So you're saying you've been here before with others, and it could be other karmic, other karmic men. Yeah. So let me, I gotta move these cards over a little bit. All right, so let me go over here to karmic energy. What do the karmic want to say to their lover after dark hours tonight? What do the karmic want to say? <coughs> okay, this card came out in reverse. Do I want to read this reverse? Yeah. So the karmic want to say, I don't hear your voice. It came out in reverse. Or, divine, or um, this karmic want to say that they don't want to hear nothing that they love or got to say. Um, this karmic could be disgusted, disappointed in a lover. Because in the upright, it says, sometimes I hear your voice. In the reverse, this karmic is saying, I don't want to hear your voice. Or I don't hear your voice. Or I can't hear you. Or something that karmic could be saying. All right. I hope you're happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, this karmic upset with a lover after dark hours tonight. This karmic is upset. Um, <laughs> uh, no, what was, who am I reading for? Um, yeah, the karmic. This is what the karmic want to say. So the karmic is saying, I hope you're happy. So the karmic is telling <laughs> their lover that they hope that they're happy. This, the karmic's lover, um, this karmic is upset. Um, the karmic's lover could have got, could have, uh, got the karmic caught. The karmic could have been in a third party situation and the karmic's lover got them caught if the karmic was cheating. So the karmic is saying, I hope you happy. Everybody know now. My wife know now or my boyfriend know now because of you. Yeah, this comment saying I don't want to hear your voice. This comment upset. Damn. And then this came out in reverse. I put it say in the upright it say I pretend that I don't care. So this comment is saying I don't like you and I'm not pretending. It came out in reverse. This comment upset at they lover. Yeah. I don't know what the karmic lover done did to them. The karmic is upset at a lover. The karmic do not pretend that they don't care. So the karmic don't uh do not care about their lover. And the karmic is not pretending is not pretending. At least after dark hours tonight, the karmic is not pretending. The karmic wants nothing to do with their lover. Alright. So what do the karmic's lover want to say to the karmic after dark hours tonight? I want to tell you so much. <laughs> So the karmic lover could be trying to talk to the karmic and the karmic don't want to listen. The karmic do not want to hear, hear their lover. So the karmic could have caught their lover cheating. Yeah, I think the karmic caught their lover cheating. Um, Don't have to be though. But the karmic's lover wants to talk to the karmic, but the karmic don't want to hear it. <clears throat> or the karmic um could be on the phone with their lover. And it's bad reception. It could be bad reception. So it's like the karmic's lover is saying, I want to tell you so much. Hello, hello. And the karmic like, I can't hear you. All right. What else do the karmic's lover want to say? What else do the karmic's lover want to say to the karmic? What the, damn. Yeah. I think the karmic in their lover is not having a good night after their hours tonight. There's a lot of static. I'm picking up static um, interruptions, chaos, confusion. I fear that you will reject me. So the karmic's lover um, maybe have to have a secret. The karmic's lover want to tell the karmic the truth about something. Or the karmic's lover have a secret. Um, so whatever the karmic is upset about with their lover, I just heard is more to the story. So the karmic's lover want to tell the karmic even more. The karmic's lover is saying, I want to tell you so much. 
And I, but I fear that you will reject me. So the karmic found out something about their lover. And the karmic's lover wants to tell them more. Some type of confession. So the karmic could be married. And um, the karmic and their spouse is like going through upheaval. I'm picking up static, confusion, anger, rage, disappointment. Yeah, something is just a mess in the karmic energy, in the karmic love life. Yeah. Yeah, so. Excuse me. Let me see. Let me see something. Let me see. Let me put some tea on this. What's going on with the karmic and their love love life? What's going on between the karmic and, and, and their lover? What's going on with the karmic and their lover? What's the tea? An obsessive lover. Dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessiveness of karmic. So basically, I think the karmic is a karmic and the karmic's lover is a karmic. And they're clashing. Yeah, they're clashing because both of them are karmics and both of them could be an obsessive lover. Or the karmics caught their lover cheating or something. Somebody's dangerous, somebody's toxic, unhealthy, possessive, and a karmic. They're both karmics. Yeah. So the karmic don't want nothing to do with their lover. But the karmic's lover is like persistent. They want to talk to the karmic. They want to explain themselves to the karmic. But both of them, I'm picking up both of them are karmics. Okay? Tell me more. Give me the tea about this obsessive lover. It's a nightmare. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So the karmic's lover is a karmic. And the karmic's lover is taking them through a nightmare after the hours tonight. <coughs> Um, something to do with insomnia, paranoia, anxiety, unable to sleep, sees things under our bags. Insomnia, nightmares, yeah. So, the karmic's lover is putting them through hell after our hours tonight. Yeah, something is a nightmare to this karmic. What's going on with Divine Feminine's lover? Um, Divine Feminist Lover is saying they love themselves enough to walk away. Give me the C. What's going on with Divine Feminist Lover? Yeah, it's a love triangle. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, like I said, I think your lover is either not going to choose nobody or your lover, Divine Feminine, has left you so he can go leave the karmic. So he got a mess to clean up because it's a love triangle. Third party, multiple lovers, choices. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, this could also be telling me, the, yeah, Divine Feminine, your lover is walking away from a third party. Divine Feminine, whether you that third, whether you're the third party, or like I said, your lover is leaving you to leave the third party. So he got to wrap something up with the, with, um, the third party, the karmic. Yeah. Yeah. Or he walked away from um, his third party. And Divine Feminine, your lover could probably be coming back in your energy and trying to ex tell you or confess to you that he left the third party. So it's like Divine Feminine, your lover saying, I love myself enough to walk away from the, a love triangle. Or keep you from being in a, in a love triangle or something like that. Your lover could be saying to you. Or something like that. Yeah. So, that's what's going on in love and romance. Divine Feminine. You versus the karmic. Alright, so. Alright. What's going on with Divine Feminine after our hours tonight? What energy is Divine Feminine in? What's going on with Divine Feminine? Yeah. Regeneration came out sideways. Divine Feminine, I think if your lover come your way after our hours tonight, you're going to reject your lover. 
or you're going to make your lover wait or you're going to tell your lover you got to think about it because regeneration is all about second chances a rebirth so somebody is having a hard time giving somebody a second chance yeah divine feminine you having a hard time um divine feminine this can even be you you don't want to forgive your lover it's like you have a if your lover is so sincere divine feminine if your lover is sincere, it's like you're having a hard time forgiving your lover or you're having a hard time believing your lover. And you don't know if you should give your lover a second chance or not. You're not sure. So second chances is... Ugh. Yeah. All right. What's going on if, with the karmic? Okay, so we got peace. Yeah. So, after dark hours tonight, the karmic peace is coming out in the karmic's energy. Yeah, peace is coming out in the karmic's energy. The karmic could be making peace with a situation or the karmic is at peace. Or divine feminine, this karmic probably wants to make peace with you. This karmic could be wanting to make peace with you. But let's see. What's going on with divine feminine? Give me the keeping message. Why is your regeneration coming out sideways? What's going on with divine feminine? Yeah, a pathway. Yeah, pathway. So divine feminine, this pathway card could signify uh, concerning the time. Could be something one to two years. So, Divine Feminine, you could have been struggling with something from, for one to two years. Or you made your uh, Divine Masculine or Lover wait one to two years. Or, Divine Feminine, you're going to make a decision to make your Lover wait for one to two years to reconcile. Or something like that. Or, Divine Feminine... Divine Feminine, you could be having a hard time giving somebody a second chance because maybe you haven't spoken to your Divine Masculine for one to two years. So you saying to yourself, you putting me in a situation, what do you want me to say? I mean, I haven't spoken to you for one to two years. So what you mean you want us to just reconcile? I haven't spoken to you in one to two years. I, I can't, I don't have an answer for you right now. I can't just tell you yes. I can't I can't do that. It's not a no, but it's not a net, it's not a yes neither. I haven't spoken to you in one to two years. So Divine Feminine, you're having a hard time with second chances. Yeah. Or Divine Feminine, you're gonna reject a lover and this you're gonna make this lover wait for one to two years. So this regeneration coming out sideways, Divine Feminine. You're going to be like that, this for like the next year or two. Yeah. Because Divine Feminine, you got some type of deep knowing. This can also be a situation, Divine Feminine, where you know intuitively that um, your lover or your Divine Masculine is not fully done with his karmic or the third party. It's like you know that. So you coming out sideways. Yeah. All right. So give me a keeper message for the karmic. All right. So house came out number 20. <clears throat> All right. So immediately I'm picking up that this karmic after dark hours tonight is in a new home or a new apartment. So this karmic just recently moved. Yeah. This karmic could have moved into a house. So this karmic is happy. The karmic is happy. Yeah. The karmic could have recently relocated. Some type of stability. Or the karmic has a new job. After dark hours tonight. And um, they could have just started this job. after. It's like after dark hours tonight. Is the karmic's first day on this job. And it could be a third shift job. Yeah. Or this is like the karmic's first night in their new home or something. Yeah. All right, so
Let's see. What's going on with Divine Feminine? All right. So we got the two of, two of Pentacles. So Divine Feminine, you could be an Earth sign or you're dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Hopefully y'all can see the cards. So we got two of Pentacles. So Divine Feminine, the two of Pentacles could be telling me that somebody could be juggling in love or... um. Divine Feminine, you could be struggling right now. Divine Feminine, you could be living paycheck to paycheck. Divine Feminine, I'm also picking up. You might deny someone. Um, Divine Feminine, this is like a lover coming to you and wanting to sleep with you for money. And Divine Feminine, you're going to decide to struggle, then to lower your standards and sleep with this man for money. So it's like you're going to continue on in the struggle. Yeah. So divine feminine, it could have been one to two years since this lover was able to um get you to lower your standards. So divine feminine, a lover could be coming your way after dark hours tonight to tempt you to lower your standards. This man could have been begging you, divine feminine, for the past one to two years. Cause it's like this man know you struggling, divine feminine, you need money. It's like you live paycheck to paycheck or something. Or Divine Feminine, you left a lover and you're not going back. You left a lover and you're not going back. Or you left a job in the past, Divine Feminine, and you're not going back. You don't care how much money this job paid you. You're not going back to this job. It's like Divine Feminine, you telling somebody or something that I'd rather struggle than to put up with you, than to go back to that job. Or, yeah, Divine Feminine, you would rather struggle. Because it's like Divine Feminine, you want peace. You want peace, Divine Feminine. So, Divine Feminine, you would rather be struggling than to deal with something or somebody. And it's, a, it's yeah. And you've been um, at it for the past one to two years. And spirit could be telling me to tell you to keep up the good work because it's a smart decision. You're brilliant because you're intuitive, Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine, you know not to go back to this karmic lover or you know not to go back to this karmic job. This could have been career too. <clears throat> Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, this could be a job. Or an old employer or something reaching out to you via phone or email or something in Divine Feminine, you like no. Or something like that. Okay, clarify the two of pentacles. Clarify the two of pentacles for Divine Feminine. Alright, so clarify the two of pentacles for Divine Feminine. All right, we got the the nine of pentacles with the four of wands. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> the two of pentacles, divine feminine, could also be telling me you could be juggling the idea. You could be juggling the idea of whether or not you want to give somebody a second chance or not. You could have been thinking about something for the past two years, Divine Feminine. And I also heard Divine Feminine, you knew something was coming. This could even be this apology. You knew something was coming. Um, for the past two years, Divine Feminine, you could have been, even been waiting for this apology. You could have been waiting for the past um, one or two years. And after dark, I was tonight, Divine Feminine, that this apology that you knew was coming, you had a deep knowing. It could be manifested after dark hours tonight. So now that something is manifesting, Divine Feminine, that you knew was going to happen, it's like you have a decision to make. And whatever and whatever decision you make, Divine Feminine, it's a brilliant decision. It's a wise decision. It's brilliant. So anyway, Divine Feminine, we got um, you could be an earth sign dealing with an earth sign. You could be a fire sign or you dealing with a fire sign. Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And then we got Fire, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. So. <clears throat> the 
Divine Feminine, either way around it, you still have Ten Pentacles out here. And then the Four of Wands. So, Divine Feminine, you're more stable. Um, You're probably not as stable financially, Divine Feminine, as you would like. But you're stable emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. You're very stable. So, Divine Feminine, you're still single and abundant. You're stable. You single and abundant, Divine Feminine. You're you're um you're single, you're single and independent. I also see Divine Feminine being single stabilizes you. You being single from this person or this thing, that is your stability. You being single, that's your stability. So Divine Feminine, it don't matter whether you're struggling or living paycheck to paycheck. You being single from an ex, an ex-employer, an ex-lover, an ex-friend, you being single and staying away from something or somebody is your stability. Or something like that. Somebody could also be trying to get in your business, Divine Feminine, after the hours tonight. Somebody could, it could be an earth sign, Divine Feminine, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. <laughs> that could be trying to figure out um, how you're doing, how much money you're making, who you dating. Are you happy without them? Are you doing better without them? How much money you make? How many kids you got? Who your baby daddy is? Something divine feminine. Somebody could be juggling the idea about who you are. Are you happy? Are you happy without them? Are you stable without them? Do you have a twin? Are you actually a Divine Feminine? Yeah. So Divine Feminine, somebody could be trying to get in your business as well. This could be literally, energetically, spiritually. Somebody could be um, tapping into your energy, um, doing tarot readings on you. Hmm. This person could have been doing this to you, Divine Feminine, for the past one to two years. But Divine Feminine, whatever this person is trying to figure out about you, they can't because you're brilliant, Divine Feminine. You're very um, wise and clever how you carry yourself or how you interact with this person. Because Divine Feminine, somebody is trying to figure something out about you. And they've been trying to figure this out for the past one to two years. Or somebody want to know, Divine Feminine, why you won't give them a second chance. And Divine Feminine, it could be because you're brilliant. So Divine Feminine, mm -mm. Divine Feminine, somebody could be trying to make you feel dumb because you won't reconcile with them. <laughs> but your angels is telling you, Divine Feminine, your choice is actually brilliant. Yeah. Something like that going on. Yeah, so <clears throat> let me go over here to the karma. What's going on with this karma with peace and health? All right. So we got the King of Cups, the Moon, and Temperance. So, so this came out like this King of Cups, the Moon, and Temperance. So the karma could be a water sign dealing with a water sign. The moon is cancer. And then we got temperance, Sagittarius. So the karmic is either those signs, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or um, a Sagittarius. Or the karmic is dealing with those signs, a Sagittarius or a water sign. Yeah. Yeah. Divine Feminine, the karmic could be the King of Cups. The King of Cups is um trying to hide their emotions, emotional mastery. The King of Cups is trying to temperance some type of disappointment or a secret. So Divine Feminine, this karmic could be your lover. And your lover, this karmic could be your lover or your ex-lover. And he's married. So it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic wants to um, 
want to know if you know or something like that. It's like divine feminine. This karmic at home with his wife. Yeah, they could have just purchased a home together. And it's like divine feminine, you over here struggling. And this karmic want to know what you doing in your business. Or divine feminine, this karmic is looking down on you because you could be single and you could be struggling. So this karmic is like want to come in your energy and say divine feminine, I have what you need. But it's like divine feminine, you don't want nobody else's husband. You want your husband. So you don't want this karmic. Yeah, something like that going on. This karmic got to hide their emotions. This karmic is trying to temperance out the moon. So this is paranoia. The moon could also be secrets. The moon could also be uh, the um, secret enemies lurking. Or secrets. And the karmic got to hide their emotions. Or the karmic is dealing with... It's like... <laughs> say like the karmic just purchased a home with their lover or whoever. It's like the karmic... Don't really want their lover. Or the karmic's lover don't really want them. It's like they have a peaceful home, a nice home. They just purchased a new home. They live in together. But in secrets. There are secrets. The moon. Somebody don't like somebody. The moon could be secret enemies. So everything is not always as it appears. The karmic stability. Divine feminine. Whoever this karmic is. I think this karmic is more financially stable than you are. But the moon is here, Divine Feminine. And everything is not always as it appears. So, Divine Feminine, this karmic could be coming to your energy trying to deceive you and make you doubt your intuition. So, Divine Feminine, this could be a situation where the karmic wants you to lower your standards. But it's like the karmic could be unhappily married. Or the karmic is not as financially stable as they want you to think that they are divine feminine. Or something like that going on. <clears throat> it's like this karmic is trying to cover up something that could have got exposed. Yeah. This karmic trying to temperance something. Yeah. Because something could have got exposed. Or it's like divine feminine. This karmic know that they got to be careful how they approach you. Because you're very intuitive. So they have to be careful. So for example divine feminine. Say like this karmic is your ex or your lover. It's like divine feminine. You know you got a deep knowing that this karmic is married. But he would, every time you ask him, Divine Feminine, is he married? He say no. So this karmic got to be very careful, Divine Feminine. So he won't do something to confirm your intuition. Or something like that is going on with this karmic. Yeah. All right. What's going on with this karmic and this karmic's energy? What's the issue? Why the moon out here? Why is the King of Cups and the Moon out here? What's the issue going on? Because somebody's trying to cover something up or something. The unknown came out in reverse, yeah. So leaves you in the dark about things. So Divine Feminine, this karmic is trying to hide something that is actually has been exposed. Divine Feminine, this karmic can't leave you in the dark about something. So this can literally be a situation, Divine Feminine, where this karmic is married. He don't want to admit to you he's married. But Divine Feminine, you already know he married. And that's why it's been one to two years, Divine Feminine, since you um won't let this karmic like in your energy or you won't take this karmic back. Because the issue is, Divine Feminine, something is exposed, something you already know. And Divine Feminine, you could have found this out one to two years ago. 
and the karmic wants to like cover something back up divine for me. this karmic wants to cover something back up to you or somebody else the karmic wants to cover something up that's been exposed yeah All right, so what's the T with regeneration coming out sideways with pathway with divine feminine? What's the T? Yeah, bad karma. Mm -hmm. Divine feminine, whatever you're doing, whatever you have been doing for the past one to two years, it's giving somebody bad karma, divine feminine. So you coming out sideways, you not giving somebody a second chance. Divine feminine, I'm also picking up, this karma could be your lover. Or he's your ex or something. Divine Feminine, every time you get pregnant by this man, you miscarry. Or you... Something. Yeah. Divine Feminine, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be, Divine Feminine. You wasn't supposed to carry this man's... Uh, this karmic child. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, the energy you're in after that I was tonight, being unsure or giving somebody a hard time, or Divine Feminine, it's the way you live your life. It's the way you do stuff. It's bad karma for somebody. So, Divine Feminine, <clears throat> you've been somebody been getting bad karma for the past one to two years, Divine Feminine. Yeah. So divine feminine, you basically this is either divine feminine. Every time you get pregnant by this karmic, you can't you can't hold the babies or something like that. Or it's like divine feminine, you handle this karmic a certain type of way, and they cannot figure you out. And divine feminine is bad karma for them, but it's just you being smart, divine feminine, like common sense, being brilliant, and that's just common for you, divine feminine. Yeah, you don't be a fool for any and everybody. And Divine Feminine, you refuse to be a fool for this karmic. The karmic is not one of those people that you be a fool for. Yeah. All right. What's the T for the Two of Pentacles? Yeah, happiness hater. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, maybe this karmic wants to make you jealous. Because you struggle. This karmic like wants you to be a happiness hater. Or divine feminine. This karmic was a happiness hater in your life. And you remove this karmic from your, from your life divine feminine. You remove this karmic from your life. This karmic could have been juggling you. This karmic two of pentacles. That's somebody being a player. Um, That's the T. Or this is a karmic job or something. Or Divine Feminine, you still be interacting with a co-worker or something? Like an ex-co-worker. You still interact. You still interact with an ex-co-worker, Divine Feminine. So it's like Divine Feminine, you could have left the job, but you still stay in contact with like one of, one of your ex-co-workers. But it's like Divine Feminine, when you and your ex-co-worker was working together, I think your co-worker offended you in some type of way. But Divine Feminine, this co-worker been trying to find, figure something out about you. But they've been getting bad karma, Divine Feminine. Or Divine Feminine, um, yes. Yeah. Somebody been, been getting bad karma for the past one to two years. Because either they were being a happiness hater or Divine Feminine, this person was trying to make you be a happiness hater. So Divine Feminine, somebody could have started rumors about you or something. This person was trying to make you be a happiness hater. 
<clears throat> What's the T with the Nine of Pentacles with the Four of Wands? Yeah, legal issues. Yeah. Court judges, immigration lawyers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Divine Feminine, whoever this karmic is, um, you and this karmic could have been um, having legalities for the past one or two years. Y'all could have been battling in court. And Divine Feminine, this karmic scared to death, Divine Feminine. Whether you realize it or not, this karmic is petrified. Divine Feminine, if you and this karmic is at odds concerning court, like legalities, Divine Feminine, this karmic is very insecure. And um, they're very sure, Divine Feminine, that you're going to win your case in court. So they scared, Divine Feminine. Or this karmic is scared because, Divine Feminine, this karmic is aware that you're going to figure something out. Or they want to know, Divine Feminine, if you figure something out. Because it's like, Divine Feminine, this karmic wants to know if you know something. And if you find out, would you bring them to court? Or something like that? <clears throat> so, Divine Feminine, either way around it, because you're very brilliant, you're smart, you're very wise, I see that this karmic could have offended you one to two years ago. And Divine Feminine, you're still doing okay even after what this karmic did to you. So it's bad karma for this karmic. Yeah. Divine Feminine, this could even be a situation where this karmic could could be your ex. And he left you, Divine Feminine, for another woman. Because he was trying to make you jealous. And it backfired. Yeah, he could have left you for another woman. He could have married her to make you jealous. And it's like, it's been bad karma for him ever since. Yeah. So this legal issues can also be bad karma. This doesn't have to be legalities on a 3D. This could be like somebody's conscience eating them up. Yeah. So somebody could be getting um karma from the 5D spiritual jail or something like that. Yeah. It's like divine feminine, you're single and abundant. You're happy. You're happy like with your humble beginnings or something like that. You're happy, divine feminine. Even though you're you're probably not as financially secure or financially stable as this karmic, you're happy, you're at peace. And divine feminine, that's this karmic's karma. You being nine pentacles, single and abundant and stable. Or just being a divine feminine. Is this karmic's legal issues? Karma. Like they say, the best revenge is success. The best revenge is a peace of mind. It's like divine feminine. You won't allow this karmic to disturb your peace. You won't allow this karmic to disturb your peace. So divine feminine, whoever this karmic is, this karmic kind of like envies you. Even though um, you could be maybe two pentacles. Like you could be struggling from paycheck to paycheck. Divine Feminine is karmic. Oh my God. Divine Feminine, you being who you are is somebody's bad karma. And that's just period. Yeah. <clears throat> so what's the tea with this karmic with peace and house? So the right feminine, this karmic uh, could be trying to convince you that they have peace about their stability, about their stability, or something. All right. The divine feminine, if this karmic is an ex-lover of yours as well, I also see too divine feminine that this karmic played you because divine feminine, this karmic was telling you that he was unhappily married. And he hated his wife's guts. He was not happy. His wife wasn't a good wife. He was miserable. And divine feminine, this man was lying to you. Yeah, this karma could have like used you, just been using you. And divine feminine, this man like this when he be at home. 
Yeah, he was lying to you, divine feminine. If this karma is like a lover or ex-lover. Yeah, divine feminine, this karma could have been using you for sex or just wanted to make a fool out of you or something. And Divine Feminine, you eventually figured it out one to two years ago, or you figuring something out after the hours tonight. Because Divine Feminine, this karma can no longer leave you in the dark. This karma can't leave you in the dark. Something has been exposed. And this karmic wish they can take it back, but they can't. Um, what's the tea with peace and house? Give me the tea with this. Yeah, head in a cloud. Head in a cloud. So, Divine Feminine, this karma could be your ex. Okay. So, Divine Feminine, I see that this karma could be very successful. He could be very well off. Divine Feminine, you used to live with this karma, and this karma used to take care of you. This karma is a leader. Um... But Divine Feminine, this karmic, this man, you found out something about him, Divine Feminine, one or two years ago, and you left. So it's like, Divine Feminine, you, you downgraded. So Divine Feminine, this karmic could be living in a house, a mansion, a house. But Divine Feminine, you went to a two pentacles. So this is like living in a one-bedroom apartment. You downgraded Divine Feminine to get away from this karmic. You downgraded so, it's like the karmic lives in a very nice upscale neighborhood. The karmic has a very nice house, possibly even a mansion. But Divine Feminine, this karmic think about you like every night. Yeah. The karmic's head is in the clouds, Divine Feminine. This karmic miss you, Divine Feminine. <laughs> this karmic miss you. Divine Feminine, if this karmic is a female, this could be about your Divine Masculine. And your Divine Masculine is living with this karmic. And Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine don't want to be at, in this house with this karmic. They could have got a house together. Yeah. And he don't want to be there with her. What's the tea with the King of Cups? Yeah, child neglect, bad parenting, scared of hate parent, etc. So the right feminine, this karmic could definitely be um your child's father. Or divine feminine, this karmic is a female, and your divine masculine is living with this karmic, maybe even married to this karmic. And your divine masculine gotta hide his seat, gotta um control his emotions, divine feminine, because maybe this karmic is not a good mother. Or, Divine Feminine, if this karmic is a man, you could have left him because he was abusive to your child. That's why you could have left him. Or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Something to do with child neglect. Somebody is hiding their emotions. Somebody is keeping something a secret. So, Divine Feminine, this is like a situation. Your Divine Masculine. All right. So, this could be a situation, Divine Feminine, where. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Divine Feminine, I also see, too, that. This karmic could be your ex-husband or something. And Divine Feminine, this karmic probably have your child that y'all had together. But this karmic neglects your child. So Divine Feminine, this karmic could have lied on you in court. And the judge could have gave the karmic your child. But Divine Feminine, this karmic regrets doing this. Because it's like being a single dad. It's like this karmic wants you to believe, Divine Feminine, that he's all right with raising a child by himself. And you're just, this, you're just this awful woman. You was an awful wife. You're an awful mother. And I'm having a good time. I'm at peace. 
I don't need the body feminine. The body feminine, this karmic be neglecting this child. And he miss you. But he could have lied on you or set you up or something like that in court, Divine Feminine. And he could have custody of the child or something like that going on. What's the tea with the moon? Ignoring an idol. Whoever this karmic is, whether they're male or female, divine feminine, this karmic could have could could have been jealous of you. It could have lied on you. It's like divine feminine. This karmic was ignoring the fact that you're an idol. Divine feminine, you love, respected, you're admired, you're idolized, and you a fan. I mean, you have fans, but it's like this karmic was ignoring that. I also see, too, Divine Feminine, this karmic could be your child's father. And something could have happened one to two years ago. Um, Divine Feminine, your child's father uh, did something to the child, neglected your child in some type of way. Because your child's father couldn't handle the fact that you're actually idolized. You're loved, you're respected, you're admired. So you guys can be in court about something that happened one to two years ago with a child. Yeah. And Divine Feminine, it's like, Divine Feminine, you could be in court. And you're telling a judge facts be, from your place of intuition. So this is like you telling a judge, Your Honor, my baby got hurt because the karmic was jealous of me or the karmic didn't want me to shine the karmic was mad because i was being respected or whatever whatever it's like divine feminine that them judges not listening to you because that's intuition that's like that don't too much it's like divine feminine you don't have evidence about what you're talking about because it's intuition it's a deep knowing and divine feminine this karmic know that you're telling the truth but they don't want nobody to know that you're telling the truth It's like Divine Feminine, this karmic was ignoring a child and something happened to this child. And it's, it's like this karmic didn't want to accept something about you, Divine Feminine. This karmic didn't like the fact that you, you was loved, you're loved and respected. Divine Feminine, this karmic didn't like that. So something happened to a child. Divine Feminine, this could be your child's father. And Divine Feminine, he neglects your child because of who you are. So this is like this card is saying Divine Feminine can't have it all. So I'm going to just neglect our child and um try to, I'm going to make Divine Feminine life harder. I'm going to leave her with a burden. I'm going to leave her with this child. Or this man was mistreating this child because of who you are, Divine Feminine. Because you, you're loved and respected. Whether it's called a male or a female. It's like <clears throat> a child was getting mistreated, Divine Feminine, because somebody didn't like who you are. So, Divine Feminine, this is this karmic is a man and he's your child's father. Or, Divine Feminine, this karmic is a female. And it's like when your child's father used to come pick up the child, this karmic was not a good stepmother to your child. And your divine masculine or your child's father know it, divine feminine. This karmic female was not a good stepmother. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. she was jealous of you, divine feminine. Yeah. And she took it out on your child. Yeah. What's the tea with um temperance? Yeah, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah. <clears throat> so divine feminine, if this um karmic is a man, he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. He's a player. He 
He's a liar. If this karmic is a female, she's a liar. A pathological liar. Oh, somebody a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah. Somebody want to cover up a lie. Something that was exposed. Or the right thing that this karmic wants to wants you to, to dismiss your intuition. This karmic don't want you to know that they're a wolf in sheep's clothing. And that they neglected a child because they didn't like you or they were jealous of you. This karmic don't want you to know that. Or divine feminine, this karmic is your child's father. And he took y'all took that child away out of spite. Yeah. He didn't want you to be happy. So he could have took the baby out of spite or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, creativity muncher. Yeah, this karmic a hater. Divine feminine, if this karmic is a man, he hating on you. Steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, feeds off of you. Yeah. So, divine feminine, this child doesn't have to be your child. This could be the karmic child. And it's like, divine feminine, this karmic is not good to their child at all. Because they be so busy stealing from you, divine feminine. Yeah. Divine Feminine, this karmic neglects their child because they're so busy in your business. That's what this is too. So Divine Feminine, this don't got to be your child. This could be the karmic's child. Mm -hmm. So divine feminine, if you think that this karmic haven't been getting karma, they have. Whatever this karmic did to you, if you think that that this karmic haven't been getting karma, they have divine feminine. And it could have been for the past one to two years. Yeah. So what's the scoop with uh regeneration, sideways, back, karma, and pathway? Missing piece. You are missing a major piece of the puzzle. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, if you rejected this karmic after dark hours tonight, you made the right decision. Because, Divine Feminine, I think this karmic be trying to convince you that um, you should reconcile with him or um, you should let him see the baby, Divine Feminine. Um... Or this karmic trying to convince you that his wife or his girlfriend is not abusive when she's act when she actually are. <clears throat> so it's like divine feminine. This can also be a situation where you maybe you keep the kids from your divine masculine because of his girlfriend or something. Because you know that when your child go over there, divine feminine, your, your child be like this. And it's like divine feminine, you probably know that intuitively. And this karma be like, oh, no, my baby mother, my, my wife, nah, she ain't like that. Tay Tay lying, that ain't true. Or something like that. But Divine Feminine, you are missing a major piece of the puzzle. And I think it's your, your intuition, Divine Feminine, needs to be confirmed. And it's being confirmed. Divine Feminine, whatever you know to be true about this karmic, intuitively, you right. And this karmic wants to um, make you feel as though you crazy. You a happiness hater. You won't let, you don't let me see the baby because you mad because I got a girlfriend on Mary. But divine family, this ain't true. That ain't true. The happiness hater is not true. <laughs> divine family, you know something intuitively. And I think Divine Feminine, your intuition hasn't been confirmed. But after dark hours tonight, Divine Feminine, your intuition is being confirmed. I also see too, Divine Feminine, that this karmic wants to convince you because you coming out sideways or you keep miscarrying or Divine Feminine, it's like Whatever's going on, Divine Feminine, with a pregnancy, whether you're getting a miscarriage or an abortion, Divine Feminine, this karmic wants you, to, wants you to believe that that's your bad karma or you deserve it or you can't carry my baby because something wrong with you. 
You cursed. You this. Something this car may be doing. That's a lie, Divine Feminine. It's a lie. So, Divine Feminine, the missing piece that you're missing is that you know something intuitively and you need to listen to it. Because, Divine Feminine, you're actually brilliant. You're not dumb. And, Divine Feminine, because you don't have um, logical evidence or physical evidence, this karmic is using that. Because it's like divine feminine, all you have is your intuition. And you don't have physical evidence or proof that this karmic is a karmic. So divine feminine, this karmic could be making you think you could be trying to convince you you're dumb. And that you're not brilliant. You dumb. Why would you leave me <clears throat> and not live in a mansion? Why would you downgrade? Why would you do that? Only a dumb woman would do that. Who does that? But Divine Feminine, Spirit is saying you're brilliant. And it's karmic trying to convince you you dumb. Yeah. Alright, what's the scoop with the Two of Pentacles and Happiness later? Transformation. <coughs> Things are changing in your life. Mm -hmm. So, Divine Feminine, I'm picking up. You're starting to see something from a different perspective. Divine Feminine, I think that... Um, you could be two pentacles. But, Divine Feminine, when you see something from a different perspective, you're going to realize you're actually ten pentacles. Like, you ten pentacles, Divine Feminine. And this karmic didn't want you to realize that you're ten pentacles. So, Divine Feminine, I don't know if this karmic owe you money and this karmic didn't want you to know that. Or something like that. Divine Feminine, you about to see something from a different perspective. You gonna see something. Because Divine Feminine, you realizing that I'm not. I'm not two pentacles. I'm really nine pentacles. But when I add it up, I'm ten pentacles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, what's the school with the nine pentacles, the four wands, and legal issues? What's the school with this? Nine pentacles, four wands, and legal issues. Yeah, cash flow. A large lump sum of money. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Whoever this karmic is, um, divine feminine, whoever this karmic is, this karmic could be a tarot reader. Or this karmic get tarot readings on you. And divine feminine. Divine Feminine, this karmic, um, Divine Feminine, you could be in the process of divorcing this karmic as well. And this karmic don't want you to divorce him. Because Divine Feminine, he don't want to pay you child support and or alimony. Yeah. Divine Feminine, you're better off. Divine Feminine, it, be, it benefits you and your child that you be single. But it benefits this karmic that you stay married to him, Divine Feminine. A large lump sum of money. Yeah. Divine Feminine, this karmic could also be aware that if you divorce him, you're going to get remarried. And he know that. Divine Feminine, this karmic could be a tarot reader or he gets readings done on you. So, it's something that this karmic don't want you to know, Divine Feminine. You could have marriage in your future, Divine Feminine. You could have a pregnancy in your future, probably even marriage. And you have money in your future, Divine Feminine. This karmic don't want you to know that. So, Divine Feminine, this karmic makes you feel dumb. This karmic makes you feel like you're receiving bad karma. Because you, 
something you keep doing the right from niggas karma wants you to feel dumb about it and it could be like um separating from this karmic divorcing this karmic downgrading um or you working like divine feminine you could be struggling yeah this karmic wants you to feel dumb about something but divine feminine this karmic knows something about your future that you don't that's what this is yeah divine feminine this karmic knows something about your future that you don't so if they can keep you feeling dumb, divine feminine, or convince you that you're dumb or you're not intuitive, um, divine feminine, you gonna lose. You gonna lose. This karmic wants you to lose something. Yeah. What's the school with this karmic with peace house and in their head? Yep, upgrade. Your life is about to have an upgrade. Divine feminine, this karmic know you about to have an upgrade. <laughs> this karmic is aware, divine feminine. So divine feminine, maybe this karmic could be competing with you. Because they are aware that you're about to experience an upgrade. So it's like this karmic went and like purchased the house. And wants you to think that they're happy, but they're really miserable and they miss you. Or something like that. This karma could be in some type of competition with you or something. What's the school with the king of cups and child neglect? Fork in a row. You need to make a decision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Divine Feminine, this could be a situation where you separated. You physically removed yourself from this house. You and the karmic was living together. You physically separated yourself from this karmic. And Divine Feminine, you could be in the process of filing the, the divorce papers. And this karmic is trying to convince you not to. Yeah. So it's like Divine Feminine, you could be at a fork in the road and you need to make a decision. Or this karmic is at a fork in the road and they need to make a decision. Because it's something to do with child neglect. Yeah. What's the scoop with the moon ignoring an idol? Lying. Someone is lying. Yeah. The moon. Divine Feminine, this karmic lying. And that's a courtroom. Yeah, that's a courtroom. So divine from this karmic lied to you to um lied on you and like some legal something to do with legalities, divine feminine. This karmic lied on you. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Divine feminine, this karmic could have said you're not a good mother. When in all reality, divine feminine, this karmic was neglecting your child because he he was too busy being in your business, Divine Feminine, or he could have been jealous of you. So he neglected your, ch your child out of jealousy, or he was being nosy, or something like that. Yeah. This karmic lying. Yeah. What's the scoop with um Divine Feminine? If this karmic is a female, and um she's like your child's father or your Divine Masculine's lover... She could have bore false false witness on you in court. Yeah, she was a false witness in court. What's the scoop with temperance and um wolf and sheep's clothing? What's the scoop with this? Yeah, shook. The information or the situation may leave you shook. Yeah. I'm picking up Divine Feminine. This karmic, it depends on what's going on with you, Divine Feminine. But this karmic is getting a tarot reading done on you after dark hours tonight, or this karmic do tarot. And the information or the situation may leave this karmic shook, Divine Feminine. Because the karmic is a wolf in sheep's clothing, and the karmic is trying to temperance, balance out a lie. Something? Yeah. And it could be because of a tarot reading or divine feminine. You could be getting some type of publicity 
And this karmic is trying to undo something that they did. But it's too late or something. I think this karmic is shook. Yeah. Because it's like Divine Feminine, you could be getting idolized. And it's going to make people look at the karmic funny. Because this karmic was lying on you, Divine Feminine. So it's like how everybody love and appreciate Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, this could even be your children. Their affection towards you, their love towards you. It's like, how can Divine Feminine be a neglectful mother when her children is just... Divine Feminine's children idolize her. So how is Divine Feminine's child being neglected? Or something like that going on? This karmic is like trying to uh, avoid exposure. And this karmic is either trying to convince you, Divine Feminine, that you dumb. Or this karmic trying to get back in your good graces. So they won't look like a fool, Divine Feminine, for lying on you or something like that going on. <clears throat> Divine Feminine, if this karmic is your child's father, um, you can have a child by a, a different man. Or you're in a new relationship, Divine Feminine. And it's like Divine Feminine... Something this karmic lied on you about divine feminine. It's becoming obvious that something is not adding up. Something ain't adding up. And this karmic is trying to temperance a lie. Trying to cover up something that's that was already exposed. Or something from getting exposed. Yeah. Because divine feminine, this karmic is aware that you're about to get an upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, so something like that going on. Give me more scoop. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, what I was about to say. Um, divine feminine. Whatever's going on. Whatever this karmic's trying to do. Cover up convince you of whatever this karma is trying to do this phase will soon end and it got something to do with a moon cycle so maybe by the next moon cycle or something like that this this phase will soon end yeah yeah um yeah Divine Feminine, this karmic was stuck in the past. This karmic is stuck in the past. And Divine Feminine, I think you was trying to keep your cool. Because you already knew what the deal was. Um, You know, yeah. And Divine Feminine, this karmic, something might happen with this karmic. Divine Feminine, this karmic could have been trying to get you put in the middle of an altercation. Or this karmic is going to get, in, get into an altercation. And that could be part of their karma as well. A physical altercation may break out. So, Divine Feminine, this karmic um, was trying to get you uh, hurt physically. Well, this is going to happen to the karmic. Divine Feminine, this karmic could have been very abusive to you. As well. Physically abusive. Yeah, this karmic stuck in the past, though. Something happened in the past or Divine Feminine. Something could have happened to this karmic in their childhood. And it's like Divine Feminine, you, um, it's like the karmic took their anger out on you because it's unhealed wounds or something in the karmic's childhood. Yeah. But Divine Feminine, the karmic being stuck in the past, this could be their childhood or Divine Feminine, whatever you and the karmic had together. The karmic being stuck in the past, this phase will soon end. Because Divine Feminine, I think you're staying relaxed about the situation. You're clearing your mind. And it's like some type of altercation might happen. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, if you have a new lover or something, maybe your new lover 
if this karmic is a man, your new lover or something might have a conversation with this karmic. Or they might get into a physical altercation. And divine feminine, this karmic gonna leave you alone. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, something with a physical altercation. <clears throat> Give me the tea about this altercation. Give me the tea about it. Yeah, a drama starter. Yeah. So the right feminine, I think this karmic, um, if he's a man, he could have been trying to start a physical altercation with your lover or something. Or divine feminine, this karmic wanted to put his hands on you. Or he was trying to get somebody else to put their hands on you. Or something like that. Yeah. Or divine feminine, this karmic going to get beat up or attacked because they're a drama starter. Yeah. That's the T. Because of a drama starter. So an altercation might happen because somebody is a drama starter. So it's like divine feminine, this karmic probably doesn't only harass you. They harass other people. So this karmic might get into a fight or something. Something like that going on. Divine from now, I also see that this house with this piece that's in the karmic's energy. Oh, divine from the you and this karmic could be fighting over our house too. The wife of this karmic could be like a sibling or something. This karmic living in your house. And they, um, something. This karmic could be a sibling. Something like that going mm on. -mm. But that house and that peace energy, the wife of could be, um, your energy. And the karmic is aware that divine feminine, you are going to soon have this house and have peace. Or well, divine feminine, this karmic took something that belonged to you and it could have been this house or something. So it's like divine feminine, this karmic could have took a house that belonged to you. Or maybe even this could be identity fraud or something like that. It's like divine feminine, this karmic was able to get a house at your expense. But it's like since the karmic been living in this house, this karmic been getting bad karma. Or something like that. Mm -mm. Yeah, rejected. Yeah. Divine Feminine, you could have got rejected from a house or something because of this karmic. Something this karmic did, you got rejected, Divine Feminine. So it's like divine feminine. This karmic did something, something to do with a house, <clears throat> and then it's like divine feminine. When this karmic took this house from you, the karmic was telling people you were happy to say that you abuse your kids, you cursed because you can't have kids. This karmic was oh my god, divine feminine. This karmic dogged you out. This karmic did something to you. But divine feminine, this karma getting karma for what they did. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm This karma can have bad habits. Yeah. Divine feminine, this karma could have been telling people you have bad habits, you have drug addiction. Or something. But I'm going to end it because, um... <laughs> Yep, someone is lying. Divine feminine, somebody lied on you in the past. This karmic could have lied on you one or two years ago. Or this karmic is lying on you after our hours tonight. And it might get exposed that they're lying on you. Mm. Divine feminine, I think this karmic was getting a tarot reading done on you after our hours tonight. Yeah. And the information that the karmic got is going to leave them shook. Yeah. 
So the karmic is trying to fix something. Because this karmic scared. Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to end it. And then we got scarcity tactic. Yep. Yep. Oh, boy. I'm going to end it. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, this karmic probably wants your forgiveness. But, Divine Feminine, this karmic, I don't think this karmic is sincere. This karmic wants forgiveness from you, Divine Feminine, because this karmic is aware that you're going, you're about to receive an upgrade. And that this karmic, no cuffing season coming up, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Yeah. The season for relationships are coming up. So, like I said, Divine Feminine, you could be single. And this karmic is aware you're about to get into a relationship. So, now all of a sudden, this karmic want forgiveness. But it's not sincere. This karmic is, doesn't want you to get into this relationship, Divine Feminine. Yeah. This karmic is obsessed with you, Divine Feminine. This karmic sends you the evil eye. Someone is wishing ill intent on you. Yeah. Damn, Divine Feminine. This karmic did you wrong. This karmic is a lover. For some of y'all, this karmic could be a sibling. Something to do with, like, family estate or something. Or this karmic, like, did something fraudulent, Divine Feminine, at your expense. And maybe got a house or something in your name or something. And it's like, Divine Feminine, this karmic... It's like Divine Feminine, after this karmic played you or defrauded you, they started gossiping about you. Telling people you abuse your child. You a happiness hater. You jealous of them because they married or something like that. You um you could be cursed. You keep having miscarriage. Divine Feminine, this karmic... Mm -mm. Yeah. Divine Feminine, this karmic could have got you fired in the past. Yeah. Divine Feminine, you could have got fired, like wrongfully fired as well. Ooh, Divine Feminine, this karmic could be like a um somebody who hired you. Divine Feminine, this karmic um could have got your information from work. And this karmic got you kicked out of a home or something. Because you got hired or something like that. Divine Feminine, this karmic was being vicious towards you. But Divine Feminine, I kind of think you don't know what, like, why you was experiencing this. Divine Feminine, you could have got fired. You could have got evicted. But you didn't know why. What was going on? It was this karmic. Because this karmic was giving you the evil eye and it was obsessed with you. Yeah, and then catfish. Someone is not who they appear to be. Yeah. Divine Feminine, it's this karmic. <clears throat> I don't know who this karmic is to you, Divine Feminine. But this karmic been um causing you losses in your life, Divine Feminine. Yeah, this karmic probably do spell work on you too. Yeah. This karmic could have been an old co-worker, an old employer. This karmic could have took your information and did something with your information, Divine Feminine. Or something like that. Yeah, then we got wrong way. Yeah. The direction that you were moving in was the wrong way. Make a U-turn. Yeah. Yeah. Divine Feminine, you can forgive this karmic, but this karmic ain't no good. You can forgive him. But I don't think you should take this karmic back or let this karmic in your energy. Yeah. Yeah. Something to do with Christmas. Yeah. <clears throat> Divine Feminine, this karmic was gossiping about you on Christmas. Something to do with Christmas. Yeah. So it's like Divine Feminine is telling me you two pentacles. So you live paycheck to paycheck. So Divine Feminine, it's like you could have been struggling. And this karmic thought it was funny, Divine Feminine, that you probably couldn't afford, like, gifts or something for your child. So, it's like, on Christmas, Divine Feminine, this karmic was gossiping, um, spreading rumors about you. It's telling me this karmic was obsessed. 
This karmic used to watch you, divine feminine, with ill intent, with evil intent. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, divine feminine, this karmic was doing the most to you. <clears throat> but divine feminine, I also just heard divine feminine, this karmic thinks you're dumb. But divine feminine, you're not dumb. You're not dumb. Because when you have someone doing something against you in the dark, Divine Feminine, how are you supposed to know? So it's like, Divine Feminine, this karmic think you so dumb because they was doing stuff to you and you didn't know it was them. Um, But the, the Divine Feminine Spirit, your angels is telling you you're not dumb. You're actually brilliant. Yeah. Divine Feminine, you was just a victim to a karmic. That's all this is. You're not dumb. You, you're not dumb. This karmic is just very low vibrational, but that doesn't make you dumb because you became their victim. That don't make you dumb. Yeah. Yeah. Because Divine Feminine, whatever this person was doing against you, they was doing it behind the scenes. So, Divine Feminine, I guarantee you this person, this karmic didn't walk up to you and say, I did this to you. I stole your identity. This is and that. I was, this karmic didn't walk up to you and tell you. So, they have no right. And it's a lie, Divine Feminine, for them to call you dumb. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, you're not dumb because you was a victim to a karmic, to a coward. This person is a coward. They're not, you're not dumb, Divine Feminine. Um, yeah, but Divine Feminine, this person getting karma. So, really, if you're dumb or not, it don't matter, because they've been getting karma. It really don't matter, Divine Feminine, if you're dumb, because they've been getting karma. So, give me the scoop about this bad karma. You being dumb, Divine Feminine, is irrelevant. <laughs> Yeah. Childish. Someone is being very childish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This karmic is getting bad karma for being childish. Yeah. Give me more scoop about this bad karma. Yeah. <laughs> Access denied. Blocking communication. Yeah. So, the my family, you block communication from this karmic because they're childish. Divine Feminine, maybe you didn't know why this person was so childish. And it was because they was doing all this stuff to you. That's why this person was childish. So, Divine Feminine, you block communication from this person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. <coughs> So, I also see, too, Divine Feminine, for the past one to two years, you blocked the karmic. So, it's like you didn't give this karmic to, you no longer gave the karmic access or you didn't allow this karmic to be childish to you. You was no longer going to be this karmic punching bag, this karmic's victim. Yeah. Yeah. So, the my feminine, whoever this karmic is for some of y'all, you haven't spoken to this karmic in one to two years. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. And Divine Feminine, you're going to receive an upgrade in spite of what this karmic did to you. And Divine Feminine, you're brilliant. You're brilliant. Yeah, so Divine Feminine, all this stuff this karmic did to you, because they did a lot to you. Um, <laughs> Divine Feminine, this person was trying to make you be a happiness hater. <laughs> they was lying on you. And it wasn't true. Um, yeah. So Divine Feminine, this person was saying, oh, Divine Feminine acting like that because I make more money than, than, than Divine Feminine. Divine, Divine Feminine just mad. She being a happiness hater. Because Divine Feminine, two pentacles, and I'm ten pentacles. <laughs> or 
Or I got a house and Divine Feminine don't. Divine Feminine is struggling. So, yeah, Divine Feminine are happiness hater. Divine Feminine jealous of me. Something like that, this card was saying. That wasn't true. Yeah, something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's what I have. I'm going to end it. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And um, have a nice night and thank you.